Jeffrey the giraffe, America's favorite four-toed undulate. No, seriously, that's what they're called. Look it up. Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is Funko has made a lot of Jeffrey the giraffe pops, and I mean a lot. Like, he might be the first character to be a Marvel and DC superhero. Or at least the first giraffe ever, Melman. But I digress. And anyways, we're going to Toys R Us today because I want to try to get the brand new Harry Potter Jeffrey the giraffe. And I believe this time it's Hufflepuff. I don't know, they've made so many I lost count. Oh, and also I found out about a comic book store that's on the way, so I figured we might as well go there too because I've never been before. And anyways, let's get started. And now if you guys want to take a look, they actually do have a pretty decent section of figures. Like over here, I'm noticing the Couch Homer, which is one that I don't see very often. Then to the right, they've got a bunch of the Peacemaker figures. And then past them, check it out, they've got King Shark as well as the Riddler. Two that you do not see very often, but definitely popular characters. Oh, and then I didn't even notice, right under the Riddler, they've got Oswald Cobblepot. And I know that he does have a new television show coming out, so this could be a cool one to get. Then as we keep going over, we've got a lot of the Harley Quinns, Bane, Yara Flora. So it looks like this is kind of like the superhero section. Then we've also got Miss Marvel down here, which I believe is the first time I've ever seen her. And then as we keep going, we've got like Thor Love and Thunder, a bunch of Loki, Spider-Man No Way Home, What If, as well as this one here, which kind of surprised me. Jupiter Ascending, Jupiter Jones? I totally forgot that this was a pop. And then towards the end, you guys, we've got some like video game ones, Star Wars, Carrie. So I guess this would be like the horror section over here, as well as Iron Maiden, The Child, Mandalorian and the Child on Bantha, and then some of the bigger figures, which I really enjoy. And then the next row up, guys, we've got like Harry Potter, E.T., Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and a lot of them too. Then of course you've got Squid Game and some older ones that again I don't see very often, like pretty much the entire set of Star Trek Beyond. Pretty cool. Oh, and then down here they do have Morocco Mole. Now this is a Hanna-Barbera one that I do have in the collection, otherwise I totally would have grabbed it today. And then as I'm getting over, I'm noticing they've got like Angelica Pickles, who I do not have yet, but I do have Susie, Tommy, and Chucky. So to finish off the set, actually I think this is the first time I've ever seen it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get her today. And then over here guys at the end we've got three more figures, Rob Halford, as well as Mr. Bean and pajamas and the Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch moment. Definitely a sick figure. Oh, and then just above that, guys, it's not a Funko Pop, but it is a handmade by robot. We saw them over at New York Comic Con, so it's cool to see here, too. Oh, and then way up at the top there, guys, I don't know how I missed this, but they've got Ash as well as the Chase version of Ash. I mean, that one's really sick, especially because he is completely bloody. It's too bad they didn't put the bloody Chase sticker, but hey, it's still a good one. And now, since this is my first time here, if you guys want to check out the rest of the store, they've got a lot of other figures as well as comic books. It's a really neat place. So as you guys could probably tell, most Mostly Comics didn't have anything too crazy, but they're also called Mostly Comics and not Mostly Funko Pops, so it's understandable. But like I did mention while I was in there, I ended up picking up one figure, and I'll show you guys when we get back to the office, but now we're in front of Toys R Us, and fingers crossed they've got that new Jeffrey. All right, so we've made it to the section, and if I'm gonna be honest, there doesn't seem like much is new besides the one that we came for, the Hufflepuff Jeffrey. And it's pretty cool because right next to it, there is a top toy sign. I am definitely gonna need to get him today. Oh, and for anybody curious, I believe this sculpt on this is the exact same as every other one of the Harry Potter Jeffreys because the Ravenclaw one is right here and it seems like yeah it's pretty much the same and then as I get a little bit farther down I'm noticing that there is some decent ones but they're all stuff that we've seen before like the Funko Shop Obi-Wan Kenobi as well as some other ones from Obi-Wan and then we've got like Chewbacca, Yuga, Katie who's always here, a bunch of the Kramers so it's cool that I was able to get the Jeffrey it's just I'm not seeing much else. Maybe these ones are new, actually. The Blacklight Nightmare Before Christmas ones? They might be for here, anyway. And then down at the bottom here, guys, they do have a couple other versions of Jeffrey as well, because I showed you guys both the Harry Potter ones they have, but they also have Jeffrey as Robin here, and then I think that might be it. Yeah, it looks like it. And then also above, what do we got here? Like the Watcher with the wrong sticker as well as Yzma, Ravenger Thanos, Malin, Giant Shaquille O'Neal Funko Gold, as well as the two-pack over here here but uh, yeah that seems to be about it oh and I guess I could take a look in this section over here guys which has more of the Funko gold as well as the pop pins but the problem is I'm not seeing anything here that I really need for the collection I was going for a lot of the Star Wars ones and I think I have every single one that they've got here and the one that I'm on the hunt for if you guys want to check it out is the Lando no Boosh Leia Boosh Leia is the one that I'm missing and if I could find that I would totally get it but yeah I don't see her anywhere and now out of the big section I always like to take a look over here because this is where the U2s are as well as the Five Nights at Freddy's figures. It looks like these are the same as last time, as well as the U2s. Like, maybe they got more in, but it's definitely the same figures. Okay, so I'm obviously now out of Toys R Us, where I ended up grabbing the Jeffrey the Giraffe, as well as three sodas. And I was gonna end off the hunt there, but then I saw that there was a GameStop nearby that I don't normally go to, so I figured, why not? Let's try it. 
All right, so here is the section, and if I'm gonna be honest, it's a little bit better than I expected. Because I think I'm probably gonna be getting something while I'm here, because I noticed they got in this one, guys, the Pop and Tea Bundle, and now I know it's the wrong size, but at this point, I don't really care, I just want the figure. And also, you guys remember I was complaining about it last time, they actually ended up putting the only in Pop and Tea Bundle sticker on the front, so that's pretty sick. And then besides that, actually, no, I need to get Mike Guy today, because my brother, I meant to pick it up for him a couple days ago, and then you guys pointed it out, I forgot. So what happened was I just went to go get my pre-order, and did not grab him off the back wall. So let's put him in the pile of things that we're probably gonna be grabbing here. No, we're definitely gonna be getting that. And then looking around a little bit more, they've got like the Darth Vader over here, Harley Quinn, some SDCC exclusives, like the Penguin is a really good one. But I think actually besides that, it seems to be, oh no, you guys told me that the Harry Potter advent calendar is different than last year, so we've gotta get that too. All right, so now that we've got the advent calendar, I think that's pretty much everything I'm gonna be picking up from back here, it looks like it. Okay, so I got my stuff, but I've got a bit of a story for you guys, because while I was walking over to the cache, to the left of them, they had a giant pile of pops. And I was looking through it for a second because they had like the brand new Ichigo from Bleach, as well as the Glow in the Dark Kakashi GameStop exclusive, and a bunch of ET ones, so I was probably gonna pick up something. But then while I was digging through them, the guy said that they're actually gonna be shipping these out and I'm not able to purchase them, even though they were kind of on the floor. So it was a little bit annoying, but I'm sure other GameStops are gonna be getting them in. It's just too bad because I would have loved to have gotten that Kakashi for Noah or that Ichigo. But the good news is I did still end up getting some good stuff, so let's go back to the office. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the thing over at GameStop is still kind of bugging me. Like, I don't know, it just seemed a little bit weird that they had the stuff on the floor, but then I wasn't able to buy it and they were like shipping it out. I've never heard of that before. And if they're gonna be shipping it out, why don't they keep it in the back room instead of somewhere where everybody can see it? I'm a bit confused. But anyways, let's not dwell on it too much because I did still get some good stuff today. And I guess we'll start with the comic book store where apparently they've been open for 42 years and I've never heard of them. And so the only thing I ended up getting while I was there was the Angelica Pickles, which is a nice one. It's just too bad they didn't have more figures. But I guess the cool thing was they had some older ones that I haven't seen in a long time, like the Star Trek Beyond as well as Morocco Mole. So that was neat to see. And I guess this one is still a great one to grab, especially because I think for a while there, she was the only one that was kind of hard to find. I guess Tommy came out later, but I was having trouble finding her in stores. And I'm also really enjoying the newer wave of these because every single one of them comes with like a toy or plush in their hand. And this one is of course her with, I believe Cynthia is the name. Yeah, it looks like her. You know, the one with the crazy hair, it's gotta be her. And now everybody, let's get into the Hufflepuff Jeffrey. Definitely a neat one, especially because they released this one a lot quicker than last time. Because for the figures to go from Slytherin to Ravenclaw, that was like maybe four to five months. And then Ravenclaw to this was like two or three weeks. Okay, maybe it was a little bit longer than that, but still, it was a lot quicker. And I'm hoping that the Gryffindor one does release soon so I can have the entire set complete. And once it releases, I will definitely be posting a photo of all four of them on my Instagram, at TopOpsYT. Oh, and then like I mentioned, I did end up getting three sodas. I got a Shang-Chi, because this is all they had left, as well as two more Pete's. I really want to get that chase. But we're not going to be opening up these yet. We'll save them till the end. And let's get into the stuff that I got over at GameStop, because we hardly even took a look at them. With the first one here being Mike Guy from Naruto. And I know it looked like I picked him up the other day, but we talked about this earlier. I looked at him at the back, then just went over to get my pre-orders and totally forgot to grab him. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that I have him in the collection. And Noah, this one's going to be going to you. I hope you enjoy it. And it's too bad I wasn't able to get that glow in the dark Kakashi today. Apparently it's going to another store. I'm gonna stop complaining about it. Then guys, I of course ended up getting this one here, the glow in the dark Doc Brown with the Great Scott t-shirt. And I do know that this is a medium, but I had to get it anyway. And now I guess let's pop this thing out because I wanna see what the t-shirt and figure look like a little bit better. And I do understand it's too small, but I do have some of those t-shirt frames, so I could put it inside of that. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I picked up a couple t-shirt frames maybe like two or three years ago now, and they fit really well with the pop tees because for the most part they're kind of like a square design and it fits really well. I believe I picked them up over at Michael's. That's where I usually get most of my display stuff. And anyways, let's take a look at the t-shirt here. And oh, it's blue. That's always nice. Because usually when it comes to a Funko t-shirt, they do it in kind of like a gray or black, but the blue, I mean, hey, check that out. Yeah, I gotta say guys, it is a pretty nice t-shirt. It's got Doc Brown on the side, Back to the Future at the bottom, and then the popified version of him in the middle. And the nice thing is that the t-shirt here is the actual figure in the box. And what I'm loving about this thing, and I know I was complaining about it a little bit last time, but this one actually has the only in Pop and Tea Bundle sticker. It's a really nice addition to the figure. And I think the reason that I really like it is because of the odd shape that goes along with it, because it's got all these like jagged edges instead of it just being like a 
normal circle. It's really nice. And then also this thing does glow in the dark, so we gotta test it out. Now I'm gonna be honest, before I turn the lights off, I didn't really know what was gonna glow in the dark, but I guess it's the wires on the helmet. I mean, look at all of the colors on this thing. It's seriously crazy. Like when's the last time we got a figure that glowed green, blue, orange, red, and there might be a bit of yellow on the back here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely there. And then everyone, the last thing that I ended up getting from GameStop was the advent calendar. And I'm gonna be saving this one because I wanna do a video where I open up every single one of the new advent calendars as well as more, so stay tuned for that. But I guess if you guys wanna take a bit of a closer look at it, here is the front. And then when I flip it around, you guys can see there is like a teaser of about four figures, but I really wanna know what the other 21 are. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Because when it comes to the advent calendars, I like to be surprised, so I don't watch any videos on it. And you guys shouldn't either. Wait till mine, please. All right, now everyone, let's crack into the sodas. With the first one here being Pete, and it's funny, I've actually got the last Pete's that we opened up on the table and we did not get a chase. So fingers crossed we get one today. My only problem is before, I believe there was like maybe two or three of them left at Toys R Us. And now it seems like they had about seven or eight of them. So they probably got in a new case. And uh, I don't know, my luck is dwindling. And so anyways, let's find out if this one is that chase. And ah, his mouth is closed. It's not. Which is too bad, but the good news is I did get two of them, so let's find out. Maybe we'll get it on this one. And now I'm curious if anybody out there has been keeping a tally, because I want to find out what's the soda that I've opened up the most of and haven't got a chase for yet, because it might be this one. It could also be... I remember there was a long time ago I did a bunch of He-Man, and there was a couple others as well. Maybe Sully? I opened up a lot of him, too. I don't know, but anyways, guys, let's get into this one. And now with me opening up these ones, I feel like Pete is definitely going to be up there and... Uh... Oh. Ah, it's another common. Well, everybody, you win some, you lose some, and this one we lost. But the good news is we've got Shang-Chi left, and this one was the last one they had on the shelf, so you never know, this could be the chase. And so here we go, everybody. Let's get into this and find out if we got that metallic version, because I do already have the normal one. I, I don't need another one. You guys know. I mean, this is how it works. But anyways, let's find out, did we get the metallic, and... Can't tell yet, can't tell yet, can't tell yet, can't tell yet, it is not. <sighs> we'll see you guys tomorrow.